again. Uh, welcome to the closing bell on the um, 15th of December for me, uh, around midday. And, well, we've seen quite an interesting week this week, haven't we, uh, with the Fed pivot um, and the market uh, really starting to um, lower those yields across the yield curve uh, in the US and here also being affected. So um, really following on from what I was saying last week, um, I'll show you uh, those companies which I sort of pointed out to you last week as as ones that I thought, well, if this is going to get going, um, uh, they'd be an interesting uh, bunch of stocks to have a look at. Um, and yes, the, the I think the um, week that we've had really uh, giving you that sense um, that this rally in the bonds is starting. And um, uh, we've seen a big drop in yields. So, of course, this is the chart of the US 10-year bond yield. You can see there that um, obviously prices go in the opposite direction. So when the yield goes up, prices go down on those bonds. So that's the, the you know big sell-off that we've seen in the bonds to a high of a 5% yield. And look at the drop we've seen, uh, a full percent now. And um, hopefully, if you've been watching, uh, you'll know that last month, um, once I got that pivot, I said, watch out. Um, it can now drop faster than people expect. And there was the, the high in the last cycle. There's your pivot there. And uh, didn't take long for things to really roll over. Um, so uh, just really getting a sense of really the the whole thesis that I've been taking you through um, over this last sort of uh, few months, saying that uh, I'd expect to see these yields start dropping. And from that, you're then moving on to the US dollar. And end of last month saying, you know, we've got the sell signal coming in there, expect more downside in that US dollar. So that is starting to take shape. Um, so you're starting to think through what are the repercussions um, going forward if this is um, going to continue? Um, and it certainly can, uh, but I guess it is um, dependent on how growth really plays out from here, et cetera, et cetera. So many things up in the air, but um, just going with that theme uh, that uh, you're starting to look at what are the opportunities that are going to unfold um, if there is this changing of the guard um, where rates are probably peaking in the US, maybe not here in Australia, uh, maybe we need another one to the upside. Um, but, you know, it'll definitely the pressure will be taken off the RBA uh, if US rates are really um, starting to fall. So um, moving on from that, we've had moves in gold. And you can see uh, with this weekly chart of gold, that um, after the false break of the major high um, from the last few years, we sort of had that spike a few weeks ago and, and then it got hammered. And uh, really my big picture on this is I just wanted to see buying pressure coming in around that sort of, you know, 1870 to 1970 was sort of the area, um, fairly wide range, but, you know, this is big picture stuff I'm talking about here. And really just need to see good buying pressure from this area to maintain the sort of overall uh, bullish view, I guess, on on gold. And my line in the sand was, you know, down around 1800 bucks. Um, below there, I'm going to get a bit nervous um, on the gold price. But as long as it sort of stays above that area, uh, it can do what it likes. Um, and, you know, it's bounced quite nicely. There's, there's no... Uh, clear um, thing you could say here that gold's about to take off and, and really bust above that all-time high. Um, but if we see something like that, then, you know, uh, it'll be on for young and old. Um, but, you know, I'd expect there's going to be more work done. Um, it's, it's, you know, such a massive resistance zone up around this sort of 2,000 to 2,100 area. Uh, you know, we may need to just stuff around um, in this uh, zone for a bit longer before being able to break out. Um, but 
uh, I guess, a positive development, you know, rates coming off the boil, real interest rates going down, um, and therefore, you know, taking the pressure off gold. Um, so, uh, yeah, gold looking interesting, and uh, there's definitely a few stocks out there um, worth sort of having a, a stab at. I think I, I gave one to um, um, you guys a while ago. Uh, maybe not the the uh, free people, but um, the customers of um, uh, Fat Tail um, told you about one uh, last week, which is looking pretty good. And um, yeah, so gold is potentially on the radar. Well, let's just have a quick look at um, those stocks I sort of listed for you last week, saying that uh, you know you could run the ruler over them as um, the the rally in bonds gathers steam. Um, some of the beaten up property um, exposed stocks and um, infrastructure sort of high uh, higher dividend yield stocks, and uh, you know they all had a pretty good week. Um, Growth Point Properties that was the first one uh, I showed you. Um, having a bit of a run over the week. A few of the other ones have had really uh, big runs. Got Charter um, Hall Group really um, flying uh, after the Fed came out with their um, announcement. And uh, you can see that one this week really powering ahead. Um, also, uh, Charter Hall Long Whale Reit, um, a nice strong move to the upside uh, last week you can see there really taking off and um, I was showing you uh, the sort of monthly uh, chart on this I think last week sort of giving you the sense of you know this really was um, a big clear out that happened this year and and here it is turning back up um, so you know you, you're expecting a bit of a mean reversion uh, move on this as things settle down and rates fall um, and pretty good yield uh, on that one too. So that one has had a great week um, over the last week. Also, URW, uh, you know, massive amount of debt um, in those guys. I'm, I'm probably not that keen on it, but um, you know that one also having a good run last week. Um, National Storage REIT. Um, they've already had a bit of a run um, and we'll be setting up uh, a potential uh, buy signal this month, but um, yeah, didn't really take off that much this week. Uh, GPT Group, um, they did have a, a nice strong run um, over this week. You can see there uh, a good strong move to the upside um, this week as well. And um even transurban and um, uh, flying higher um, over the week since I you know sent you that thing last week going from what 13 bucks 13 to 1370 and um, also uh, Australian pipeline uh, trust a or APA group um, they're called and uh, they had quite a nice run over the week too going from 1854 to about 1890 um, so uh, you know, a nice little list there that I um, showed you last week and the buying really coming in um, after uh, the Fed came out and said, you know, uh, that they're now starting to uh, look at when they'll be cutting rates um, because inflation really coming off the ball quite rapidly um, over there. So it's a bit of a changing of the guard. Um, a few things to be looking at there and thinking about um, adding uh, they're you know these stocks are really quite beaten up, but um, uh, coming back to sort of major support. If you look at uh, this APA group, you know uh, it's back at levels where it's bounced from, you know for the last what uh, seven years. Um, so you know not not a bad spot um, to be um, getting long, expecting um, things to uh, recover. So. Yeah, there's definitely a few um, interesting things out there. Finally, it's been a terrible old year, we all know. I uh, can't wait to see the back of it. And um, uh, I guess we'll uh, see what unfolds next year, but really the theme being that uh, there's a changing of the guard, isn't there? And stocks are certainly responding at the moment to that uh, shift 
uh, in sentiment in the bond market uh, with a rally. Um, you know, it's been a really sharp reversal, hasn't it? This being the um, S&P 500. And I was saying last month that I really had to switch off any sort of um, bearish um, notion uh, due to the fact we got this uh, monthly buy pivot. It's in long-term uptrend. We've had a retest and it's turning up. It's like, well, um, against my better judgment, uh, I've just got to say um, it's now looking bullish. And, uh, you know, it's certainly taking off at the moment. Uh, and I guess this is um, one final point, um, which I'd just say, uh, you know, it could be uh, about to just blast off and have, you know, another bull market, you know, similar to this. Uh, it's certainly got the, the structure and the setup for it, but also it could just spend a few months um, rallying and then uh, wonder what the hell it's doing up there. And if rates are then falling because growth uh, turns down, uh, it could end up having a, a false break of that uh, old high and turn down. And so for my my job really is not to say this is what's going to happen, uh, my job is just to say, look, this is the current state of the market is now bullish. And I've just got to let that play out. And if it then, you know, turns down and we get uh, a sell signal and it has a false break of that high, I'll change my tune and uh, I'll start getting bearish again. Um, I'm just really looking at which way the wind is blowing and um, allowing it to play out. Uh, because when it does get going, um, you can see here, long-term uptrend, monthly buy pivot, um, and you've just got to let it go because um, who knows how far it can go and what it can do. Um, you've, you've got to just get in tune with uh, the momentum and what's happening. And, uh, you know, you'll know that, you know, if you've been watching this, that recently I was, you know, pretty bearish um, looking at the way it was moving and, I was just really looking at that retracement that we saw and sort of saying, look, it, when it was here, that it's, you know, it's going to sell off and it'll probably retest that midpoint. And that's really all I knew. That's, that's sort of the extent of the knowledge is to know where the selling pressure should be and that there, a re revisit of that midpoint was probable. But from there, look, look what it's done. Um, just taken off like a rocket and um, it confused everyone, but uh, obviously getting prepared for these rates to start falling. Uh, so really just uh, allowing this now to play out um, and uh, starting to pick up a few things based on this um, idea that, yeah, rates have probably peaked. Um, so, yeah, where are the opportunities as a result of that? All right, that's enough. And I'll um, come back with more next week.